Hello everybody, Ben Goldman here, Eastern Title and Settlement. Thanks for tuning in to my ongoing series regarding what is going on with the real estate and title industry uh, throughout this COVID-19 epidemic or pandemic. Um, so just to bring you up to date on what's going on from a functionality uh, point of view, um, and what I'm gonna talk about is Virginia. So the, some of the counties in Virginia have adopted some new policies and procedures when it comes to recording your deeds, your deeds of trust. Um, their offices are still going to be open, but they are going to be limiting people actually coming in. Some of them say you can't come in anymore. We'll have to, you have to submit it electronically. Um, we have been doing that, um, so it's just going to basically take a little bit more time and some of the jurisdictions just uh, will not let you uh, physically walk in or they're going to have limited hours, but that's on us, not on you. Now. Uh, what else is going on? Well, if you've uh, tuned into any of my previous uh, presentations, you've heard me talk about the policies and procedures we're going through. Um, we are up to speed with getting the remote online notarizations. Those of you who have been dealing with a real estate agent or a loan officer uh, for a while now know that you can essentially do 99.9% .9 of all of that online. Um, we are up to speed with that now. Uh, Maryland is allowing that. Virginia always allowed it. We are getting up to speed with all the technology platforms and all of our closers will be able to do remote online notarizations. However, there are limitations with that. Um, some of the technology platforms do require high-speed internet access. So where our people may be on, in our office on our end, on the, on the Wi-Fi and on the high-speed, of course, the people signing on the other end should have access to that as well. And with some of the technologies, uh, using your cell phone or using your cell phone as a hotspot for your internet, it just may not work. So there is going to be an ongoing need for uh, doing these uh, settlements, closings in person. Now, to that extent, I've talked about this before. Um, when we do contact you, uh, my processor will either provide this to you online or when we come to the front door, we are going to have you execute the National Notary, Notary Association Visitor Health Screening Questionnaire. We've gone through this before. It essentially just asks three questions. Have you returned from international travel within the last 14 days? Have you or your household members had any close contact with a, or cared for someone diagnosed with the COVID-19 within the last 14 days? And have you experienced any cold or flu-like symptoms in the last 14 days? Um, if the answer to any of these questions is yes, um, we will not be coming to your home um, and we will not uh, proceed until you get a clean bill of health. And I'm sure you would not want us coming to your home or coming uh, to, to us to do a settlement if the answer uh, on our end was yes to any of those. Um, so let's just assume that all that is, is, is taken care of. Now, if we are going to come to your home, and I've talked about this before, we are basically want to make it as comfortable for you as possible. We do not want you to feel ill at ease, and if you don't feel comfortable with it, we just won't proceed. But we're offering the settlements in a number of different ways. Um, our agents will have disinfected themselves when they come to your front door. They will be wearing a gloves and a mask. I'm going to go through those procedures in a few moments. And if you feel comfortable inviting them in, that's fine. We will keep physically distancing ourselves. If that's not comfortable, I've done a few where people were doing it in the backyard on the deck. No problem there. Well, the only issue was the wind kicked up on one or two and we did have to chase some documents down through the backyard. But that's just something we have to deal with. Um, if you want to do what we call a limited or no contact closing, we are offering that as well, where we will come to the front door, you can hand us your ID if you want, and we will take a picture of it. If you don't feel comfortable with us touching your ID, you can hold it up to the glass door, and uh, we will just verify that you are who you say you are, and you will go ahead and just take a, a picture of that and text or email us a copy of your ID. We can hand the forms inside to you, you sign everything, hand it back, and we can go from there. That's what we call a limited or no contact. In addition to that, um, we're offering um, curbside, just like the restaurants now for curbside pickup on your takeout orders. If you want to drive by our, our office, our, our closer will meet you outside. They will be, again, be wearing gloves and a mask, and you can just drive right up. They'll hand you all the documents through the window of your car. You sign everything, hand it all back, and we're good to go. Um, in addition, just to keep, give you an update, of course, we want everybody to be safe. So we are limiting access to our office. We really don't want anybody coming up there. We really just want to protect our staff and you as well. But we are offering closings um, in the lobby of our building, which is where I am today. So you would meet us down in the lobby. We have plenty of space. We will social distance and we can conduct it here. Um, whatever you feel comfortable with. Now, I do want to just go through one thing with you. When we do come to you, 
Our closers in their car, before they even knock on your door, are going to be going through the following procedures. The first thing is the old disinfectant. So, we disinfect our hands. Okay? Then we place our mask on. After the mask is put on, we put on our gloves. Once we've done this, then we come knock on your door. Like I said, if you feel comfortable with inviting us in, we'll come in. If you want to do it outside, on the backyard, on the deck, we've had some people even want to do it on the park across the street. It really doesn't make any difference, whatever feels comfortable for you. We ask that if you do have the ability to, to provide your own pens to do so, if not, no problem. I'm going to bring a box of brand new pens that no one has touched, and you can reach in there and take pens that you're going to sign with and keep those uh, till the ink runs out for the rest of your life, however you want to. Once we complete the closing, once I leave your home, once I go back to my car, this is what I do. We will disinfect the gloves with a wipe. Then remove the gloves, put them in a bag. Then I'm going to disinfect my hands again. And then I'm going to remove my mask. So I just want to reiterate that we are taking all these procedures very, very seriously so that if we do come to your home, we are completely disinfected and we, we want to make sure that you feel safe and comfortable with this whole procedure. Um, so that's essentially what we are doing. Um, you know, uh, we're still proceeding to go forward with, uh, with doing all the real estate settlements. Um, like I said, you know, hopefully we'll be able to do almost everybody in a short period of time with remote online notarizations, but there is still going to be a need for people to do it in person. So if you don't mind someone like me showing with a mask and a hairdo, because I haven't had, been able to get my hair cut that looks like a squirrel's been building a nest on top of my head for a few weeks, we're willing to come to you and uh, work with you any way we can. So everybody, please. Be safe out there, and if you have any questions, feel free to uh, shoot me an email, ben at eastern title.com, and remember, we close anywhere, anytime. Thanks. See you soon.